Pretend I'm a Sailrite customer now trying to order a bimini. It can be very confusing and yet as uh, from a practical standpoint the Sailrite bimini kits come way too big and you always end up cutting them down. The bimini kit standard is 60 inches of height which means that if we were to fasten the bimini to this deck it would extend 60 inches up. You can see that's a very tall bimini. Uh, now that would be slanted some, but still it's a very big bimini. It would certainly work on a 30 to 35 foot boat without any trouble at all. The other dimension maximum for the Sailrite kit is 106 inches across and that's all the way out here, which again is way too big for this boat. They're on a 35 footer, it might be more appropriate, but uh, it's big enough. That's the most important thing. Now all we have to do once we, once we know that the kit is big enough, when we get the kit, we have to worry about how high we want to cut the bows so that we get the proper extension fore and aft. In this particular case, I want to extend from about that point all the way aft beyond the uh, push bit here so that I cover the helmsman when he's seated behind the, the wheel and anyone who's sheeting uh, while we're sailing and at rest. So I've got about a 70 inch spread or so. That won't be hard to accomplish with what we're after because we've got uh, about, oh, about 40, 50 inches here and as we know our bows come 65 so we'll be trimming off about 15 inches at least and if I put that same 50 inches aft I'm going to come nicely back of the, uh, the push pit which is just where I want to be yep, like that and then when they're folded together because they're both basically the same length the front one will be slightly shorter than the aft one because it's going to be mounted up just a bit on the aft one but when they're folded together they'll sandwich over the backstay and we can put a small cover over the bimini to protect it when it's not in use. Now the only other thing to consider is the height of the bimini. We want to, uh, we want to be able to use it while we're under sail. I'm going to take the topping lift off here. And the boom's hanging lower than it would be normally. Now it's only the jack lines are supporting it. Normally it would be up about there. So if I measure from where we will be mounting the bimini which is over here to roughly where the boom will be. I've got about 37, 38 inches or so. Uh, I want to keep the, the bimini in that range. So we've got 50 inches on this but it's got to angle forward far enough so that it's below the uh, 40 inch level of the boom and we can do that without any trouble at all. Uh, it's not really difficult. Uh, once we get the frame, then we'll start to actually take accurate measurements. All I'm doing now is showing you how to mock up what you want so that you feel somewhat more confident when you order from us that uh, larger than normal kit. Uh, by the way, the one thing I sh should make sure I mention, you can determine the number of bows you need by determining this distance. Remember we measured roughly six feet as what we want to cover from four forward to aft and uh, the spread between any two bows should no, be roughly 40 inches and since this is let's say 72 or 73 divide that by 40 and you get two and that means there'll be a third bow in the middle and two sections of fabric one forward and one aft. Thanks Jim. Let's take a look at this illustration. You'll notice at the top we have less than 42 inches between each bow. That will help you determine what kind of length you can get on your bimini. For the width, measure to each mounting point on starboard and on port. And then finally the height. You'll need to determine this by measuring from the mounting points at the angle that you desire for your bimini to hopefully not come in contact with booms or other obstacles. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, give us a call at Sailrite.